Okay, so this is the supplemental video for lecture 9 in which I'm going to show you a couple OSHA citation packets. I'm going to go to the OSHA website and then we're going to look up the uh, citation notification of penalty. So I, I got that rid of that a lot faster. So these are posted on the website. So what I want to look at first is the... I'm going to try to get it so this whole thing fits on the screen. I apologize for this. Um, using Camtasia here. I'm not used to this recording. So, when some after an OSHA inspection is over and the inspector, the COSHO, has documented violations and exposures to hazards, they go back to the office, they write up the report, they submit it to the area director or their supervisor, and they generate a citation and notification of penalty packet. And as you can see here, <clears throat> uh, I, please forgive me if any of you have any sort of family members or yourselves work for Arvado or Arvado Digital Services in Pleasant Prairie. I'm sorry about that. It's just I found this, and so we're going to take a look at it. So here is the company inspection site. Here's the inspection number, inspection dates, and the issuance date. And so this is what a company receives by certified mail after an inspection if they are going to get cited. Otherwise, they get, a, they get a nice letter. It talks about the posting requirements, three days of the length of the abatement, whichever is longer. If you want an informal conference, you have to say you have to contest within 15 working days. The right to contest is here. I'm going to let you read this, but I'm just going to kind of point certain things out. Uh, penalty payment, who you pay it to. I guess you, guess you can pay it online now. Uh, notification of corrective action, got to fill out a form. Uh, not to discriminate, employers' rights and responsibilities can be found in OSHA 3000, it's a uh, booklet. Notice to employees, inspection activity. Notice to employees of informal conference, so if you're going to schedule an informal conference, you can post that. Uh, certification of corrective action, so you fill this out, things are corrected and you send this back to the office that sent you it. So now we're to the actual citations. This is what a citation looks like. And they have a numbering system here. So we have citation 1, item 1, um, and it has a penalty to it. And it, see, it shows you when it must be abated by, which is something that should have been discussed during the closing conference. So citation 1, item 1, type of violation. This is a serious, which means the harm is more than just nothing. Uh, 29 CFR 1910-132-D1, the employer did not assess the workplace to determine if hazards are present or like to be present, which necessitate the use of personal protective equipment. We're going to be talking about all this stuff later, but for right now, just try to go with me. And then they actually provide the evidence of that violation, and the, the penalty is $7,000. Now, this is the base penalty. Usually some... some penalty reductions are offered as well, but this is the base penalty. So just by not doing a job hazard analysis, which would necessitate PPE, $7,000. Scrolling to the next one, Citation 1, Item 2. So this is $0, which means we have a, um, let's see, is, it, is, this, is this a grouping one? Yeah, it is. Or are they just not, no penalty here, even though it is serious. Um, procedures not developed for lockout tagout because I know that's lockout tagout because it's 147. So they have zero dollars on this one. I scroll down here, we've got item one three. It's a serious. It's another lockout tagout. This is seven dollars, seven thousand. So to me, I believe that this is being grouped with this one. So they cited. 147, 1910, 147, Lock Otago, it's $7,000 for the previous item and this item. 14A is a serious, $0, so the next one will be what it's amount. It's another lockout tagout. This one is for infected employees. So they, they, have, a, they have kind of a weird penalty system here that I'm not used to. Um, this one had zero dollars. This one, type three, had seven thousand, and then this one four A and B just had zero dollars. So this is not normal. Usually there are penalties for each one. One five is a serious for a machine guarding. We will talk about machine guardings. That's seven grand. One six is also serious. That's five thousand. I'm sorry. What was it for? Another machine guarding. Uh, 332 should be some form of electrical, that's worth 7,000. 
one eight a is serious. This is one through three, another electrical, another electrical. This is uh, electrical. Hmm. One ten is serious. Three through five, another electrical. A willful violation. So I should, this is so. This is a very high gravity, high severity, which you can see by the seven, the seventy thousand dollar. Oh, Christine Zortman. I know Chris. She's very nice. So here is the total for this company last year. They were sent this packet. So for the first group of citations, which were serious, it totaled fifty-four thousand dollars. For the second group. With a willful seventy thousand for a grand total of one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars in penalties. This is not normal. It's usually a lot, lot less than this, like to a factor of you know ten or more. Talks about how to pay it, an interest if you're delinquent, and there you go. So um, typically there is a because of the willful. I think they must have dropped off the possible penalty reductions. Um, that usually negates it, but if it was just serious and non-serious, there probably would have been a reduction. Okay, so that is a citation packet. Um, I, there's another one on the on the uh, the website. This is the Ashley Furniture. I'm sorry, it didn't show up. And I think this is within the lines. And I don't know if you heard about this on the news, but this one reached national news because of. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom for the total. One million seven hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> oh man, Ashley Furniture out of Arcadia got slapped. There were, I mean, there were. It was they talked about it on the news. Uh, it was on talk radio, on public radio. Um, a friend of mine was actually interviewed because of it. But I think they put a gag order on all, all their workers because I reached out to a few people who I know who work there, and they would never reply to me. So serious, willful, and repeat. Willful and repeat are very are, have a heavy gravity to it, and so there's going to be a lot more there. So. You can take a look at that. <laughs> That's was a lot. If you're just interested in looking at penalties, you see here citation, notification, and penalty. Let me show you something. Sound like Fire Marshal Phil there. Let me show you something. And sorry about having to do all this. So if we go Google, I don't know if you can see that or not. Google. And if you simply type in, is this going to work for me or, or oh. There it is. Okay, so if I just simply type in citation and notification of penalty, I have all kinds of other packets that come up. And then if I type in a specific standard or company, I may get it. So, um, Penalty, what's a company? Um, Joy Global. And, oh, this is global. Okay, so it, it didn't take it all. But so this is in Missouri. I suppose I could have um, just typed in, so let's say Madison, Madison, Wisconsin. And we have. Oh, just a single penalty? That's really weird. We don't have the whole thing. But this is one thing you can do. So you could actually type in like a a particular violation like this or a company name. Well, this is Kraft Foods. Okay, interesting. Actually, a friend of mine just got a job there. <laughs> just talked to her on Monday. That was interesting. Uh, when was this? This was back in 2011. So they've had issues there. Um, but let me show you another way. So we've got the OSHA website here. See if I can bring that down a little bit. And remember in the last supplemental video, I showed you we can go into um, data and statistics and look up inspection data. So we can do an establishment search. So we can put in the name of establishment, like Kraft. And we could just say Wisconsin. Fed and state offices, doesn't matter. Cases all, whether they're closed or open, whether it's violation of the violation, and the dates. So let's run this back to 2005. So the last 10 years. Submit. Goodness. <laughs> Jeez. I know they're a union shop. That's why they're going to have a lot of complaints. Union shops tend to have more complaints. 
Um, it has the opening dates. They, they have a they have a recent one here, um, but it looks like there's no violations. You got their NAICS, which is their North American Industrial Classification System code. You got the uh, old SICK code. You got whether it was a partial or full, whether it's complaint, plan programmed, or referral. All kinds of information here. So let's look at one that actually had some. So this one had seven. This is back in 2011. It's probably the one we just looked at. So I'll click on the activity number. And I've got the list right here. So first one is a Sirius. Um, the standard is 1910-23, walking working surfaces, total of $3,000. Um, oh, they went through formal settlement. So it was initially 3000 and they had to pay 3000 um, oh no, it was initially 3000 they had to pay 3000 Second one was a serious 1910-119, that's process hazard, process safety management. Initially it was 5500 they settled it down to zero. Um, and we could go down these, so the, you know, process safety management, uh, lockout takeout, process safety management is, is 119, lockout takeout, machine guarding, more process safety management, more machine, more, more lockout takeout, and another PSM. And as you can see, the initial penalty was $72,000. They went through formal settlement, which means they actually went to court and got it down to $25,000. So that was one of them. Um, let's see, where's one where it wasn't as much? Let's look at, at this one, where the most recent where we had one, and click on it. And the initial penalty was $3,400, got dropped down to $23,000. 2,380. It was a serious for walking working surfaces, and they went through an informal settlement. So you can go here and you can type in any company you want and see what comes up. So you can either Google the uh, citation notification of penalty and the name of a company or an actual um, OSHA citation, or you can go to the website and type it in and look it up yourself. So that's what I wanted to show you, and so using the study sheet, I want you to do some of your own research. Okay, call, uh, email me if you have any questions.